Hi, Yolanda. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions just to make sure it's safe to do the treatment. Do you have any uh, a pacemaker, an embedded defibrillator, any type of, of an embedded electronic device? No. Okay. Um, do you have any uh, diseases that I that might compromise your immunity, such as lupus or receiving chemotherapy, anything like that? No. Okay. Um, and have you had any injectables lately, Botox or any uh, Restylin, any fillers that uh, that you might have had within the last several days or a week? No. Okay. Um, that's great. So it looks like you're a great candidate. When we treat the patient with Pelave, we look at their face and we we know that everyone's face is a little bit asymmetrical. So it makes sense to start out on the higher side of the face. That way, if we treat the lower side first, we would, we would just arrive at symmetry and there would not be a, a big change that the patient would be able to see. So what I'm, I'm looking at is this would be the higher side of her face if you look. And what I'm looking at is I'm looking at her brow and I'm looking at her zygoma. And you can see very, she's not horribly asymmetrical, but you can see that there is definitely a difference. So when we treat, we'll treat a split face and I will treat this side first and we'll see, we'll just see a marked difference immediately. What I will try to achieve with this treatment are there are multiple areas I think we can improve. We can treat your forehead. Um, by treating your forehead, I think we may be able to lift just a little bit here. By lifting your brows, it opens up your eyes. It also pulls some of these little crow's feet on the side. I'll also treat your eyes and under your eyes to try to minimize those lines. Um, we will treat your um, upper, mid, and lower face. And by lifting your cheeks, that really, really will minimize these nasolabial folds. We always have to treat above the area we're trying to affect. And then I will also treat and do some sculpting passes along your, along your lower jawline here to try to define your jawline better. So I think I've addressed all of your, all of your questions, you. I hope. Thank you. <laughs>
This is the infrared thermometer that comes with the Pelevé device. It's very easy to use. Um, when you're taking the patient's temperature, you want to place it perpendicular above the area that you're measuring. You may take, um, you may move it around. There is an aiming beam that lets you know where you are. You may move it around and scan the entire area. It will hold that that number on the back. It will also hold the maximum maximum temperature that you've reached on the back as well. When you take the, the temperature of the skin, just be advised that the aiming beam comes from the top of the IR infrared thermometer and the actual temperature will appear a half inch lower. So you're actually measuring a half inch below that aiming beam, which is very important when you're doing smaller areas such as an eye area. Uh, you want to be perpendicular about five to ten, no more than ten inches above the tissue.